I asked you if there's anything good in it because I want to ask you about some of the specific provisions in the bill. Since you're going to be repealing it, are you willing to roll back the provisions that would provide free mammograms under Medicare? Listen, there are a lot of provisions uh, that can be replaced. Remember, I said we want to take a common sense, step-by-step -step approach uh, to replacing Oh, Obama well, let's care. talk about what's specifically in this bill, because there are a lot of protections for individuals. Of course if you're are. under 26 years old, you're out of a job, you can stay on your parents' insurance. Do you support that? I do, and the health insurance industry has made that a, a practice within their industry. What they about came out and made that statement a couple of weeks ago. What about additional preventative care, like for children, for instance? You don't have to pay a copay on immunizations. As I, as I said, Republicans believe in a common sense, step-by-step -step approach to replacing this law. And all of those provisions, popular provisions, many of them very sound provisions, uh, can in fact be done in a common sense way, but not in 2,700 pages that no one read. What about pre-existing conditions? What about the millions of Americans that have pre-existing conditions and are discriminated against? We believe that the way it is done within Obamacare is, is pushing the cost of health insurance for all Americans uh, much too high. We believe uh, that the state high-risk pools are a much more effective way to making sure that those with pre-existing conditions have access to affordable health insurance. But access to affordable health insurance, but you're not saying you would be for a law that would prevent discrimination of those individuals? No, we just believe there's a better way to make sure that they have affordable access to quality health insurance. So when you repeal this, what are you going to replace it with? I just started pointing out, we're going to take a common sense, step-by-step -step approach uh, that puts in place uh, the kind of policies that will make our our, our health insurance system uh, more uh, what I'll call patient-centered and lower cost. The only proposal out there last year that would lower the cost of health insurance came from Republicans. Why? Uh, because we've got policies that really will help bring down the cost of health insurance. It's clear that Obamacare is increasing the cost of health insurance uh, for all Americans and making it virtually impossible for small employers to hire new workers. How does it make it hard for small employers to hire more workers? Because uh, they're being required to either provide health insurance or pay a fine. Well, I'm sorry, a tax. It's now a tax, since the court said it was a tax. Chief even, Justice John Roberts said it was e a tax. E even though the president tried to admit uh, for you know, over a year that it wasn't a tax, and nobody believed it, and now we know it. Uh, but. It's getting in the way of employers hiring new workers uh, because of these increased costs of government-run health insurance and the fact uh, that if they don't, they have to provide a tax. The so White House says for employers. But when I talked about some of the specific provisions, you said you want a common sense approach. But why not be specific about exactly what kind of protections you want to provide individuals? You won't be specific. Why not say we've, you would prevent discrimination on pre-existing conditions? We've outlined a number of provisions last year, allowing employers to, or and the American people to buy insurance across state lines. Why wouldn't we allow small businesses to group together for the purchases of buying health insurance? Why wouldn't we deal with one of the big cost drivers in, in health care, and that is medical malpractice reform uh, that results in almost one out of four tests being ordered by a doctor as unnecessary only to protect themselves from being sued. These are the kinds of common sense steps that we can take. Why not then, if you like some of the provisions in the Affordable Care Act, why not work with it rather than a repeal no, the no, whole no, thing? Even no. Mitt Romney said... No, this has, to be, this has to be ripped out by its roots. This is government taking over the entire health insurance industry. The American people do not want to go down this path. They do not want the government telling them what kind of insurance policy they have to buy and how much they're going to pay for it. And if you don't like it, we're going to tax you. It has to be ripped out and we need to start over. One step and so at you a say time. so. So to heck with all these provisions, like additional preventative care all for of, children, all of we can, for women. We can replace. When we replace this, we can have a common sense debate uh, about which of these provisions ought to stay and which ought to go. So all those people who have pre-existing conditions, you say we're going to get rid of this, and then at some point we'll deal with it. Listen, I've already outlined. We believe there's a better way uh, to provide access to high-quality health insurance. Uh, in a different way than we have in Obamacare. We believe ours will work just as well at much less cost to the American people. It's clear you oppose the individual mandate, and yet your Republican nominee, Mitt Romney, came up with an individual mandate and 
proposed a tax penalty in Massachusetts. Does he have a credibility problem? Listen, Governor Romney, just like all the rest of us Republicans in Washington, are going to work to repeal Obamacare. And our resolve is stronger than ever uh, with the passage or with the approval of the Supreme Court. But he was for it before. Doesn't he have a credibility problem? Uh, this is an issue that was in Massachusetts. That's a one state. That's why we have 50 different states. They're laboratories of democracy. Governor Romney understands uh, that Obamacare will bankrupt our country and ruin the best health care delivery system in the world. The facts are that the penalty in Massachusetts under Mitt Romney for not buying health insurance was $1,200. The penalty under the president's health care law at its highest rate would be about $700. The Massachusetts tax penalty was more restrictive and more punitive than the president's. Listen, listen, Governor Romney believes, as I do, that this law has to be repealed. That this it is, doesn't matter this what he did before. This is, far, this is far more than anything any state had ever uh, comprehended or even tried to do. Uh, this, uh, this law is making it health insurance more expensive, it's making it harder for employers to hire new workers, and taking away from the American people their choice of the health insurance they want and the doctor they choose.